Hi there. So the last blog that we had seen on SSIAS was on KPIs, uh, that was Key Performance Indicators. The next important uh, topic which needs uh, explanation is aggregations. Now what do I mean by aggregation is, so far we had measures and dimensions where we are trying to simply aggregate or completely do the sum of, uh, of the measured value on the basis of the dimensions so where from where we left if I have if I were to pick up uh, if I have the order date and then I have uh, the order quantity against uh, and also the sales amount so these are the measures which are simply uh, aggregated in the form of a sum so that's about it it's, it's nothing uh, very complicated it's simply we are just trying to sum upon the year and then it's semester it's semester and if we were to add the product as well we would see okay so we have the product category and uh, the sales amount and the order quantity are summed upon these uh, dimensions so uh, but these are the no, not these are uh, uh, this is not the only uh, aggregation that can be performed or should be performed uh, or uh, uh, there would be a need to be performed in the, in the cubes so we are going to see what are the different uh, ways of aggregating uh, apart from the simple uh, simple aggregation which is additive in nature so by the uh, uh, we can you know uh, segregate these uh, different aggregations into four different categories and we we can call them as additive semi additive pseudo additive and non additive so now let's take a look we have already seen the additive aggregations which are all the measures that we have built so far are completely aggregative uh, aggregative and additive in nature now let's try to add few uh, others now before uh, we jump into building uh, uh, the different aggregations let's try to take a look at the data here which is uh, important for us uh, what I would like to point out in the fact in a sales table we have the order number and we have this order line number uh, to understand that better what I would just try to bring to your notice is the order number has multiple line line uh, orders line orders which uh, would be if we scroll down for a single order we can see that there are two uh, order line number and there would be a three order line number basically they belong to one order number so uh, when we are doing an average for orders uh, per order sale uh, we would not we should not be going into the line number detail uh, so we would see that how that uh, comes into effect it was something that we uh, should uh, be knowing and 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 put the notice to uh, now let's move on so I add a new measure and in C when we are the default is, is a sum which is additive it's going to sum across all your dimensions whichever way you are, you are trying, trying to uh, slice and dice your uh, uh, measures so uh, this is the default which is sum and which is additive in nature now when we move on we have couple of others so what we see here is we see a no a distinct count and we see uh, a no aggregations and we have a couple of others as well so let's first try to know what pseudo additive means so pseudo additive uh, would be your maximum or minimum so let's select a uh, maximum and then let's uh, pick up the sales amount if I may uh, okay and say good so let me try to rename this as well or let's just say maximum sales amount and we should be good so uh, maximum and minimum fall into the pseudo additive uh, aggregation which means that in any when we are trying to drill across a, a, a dimension the value is a good value of the parent would be any one from amongst the different values of the children so basically it would be one of the values from the children that is precisely what pseudo additive means uh, now let's add a non additive uh, a non additive would be something which it cannot be added across at all on the various dimensions so no aggregations obviously falls under non additive nature and apart from that if we were to count uh, the distinct values or, or here as we had seen the distinct order numbers so if we were to do so it would be a non additive uh, aggregation so let's let's go ahead and uh, first of all uh, let's call it out a distinct count of if we may uh, sales order number and as you can see what happens is 
since it's a, it's a distinct count of, of the order number anything with that it would create a new group because what SSAs does is it's going to write a distinct query which uh, and obviously it is a pro performance a degrading one it would uh, it would not give you the optimal performance because it's going to count the distinct values from amongst uh, uh, the values there in the, in the columns that we have identified so uh, that's important thing that you should keep in mind that non additive aggregations are costly so just keep that in mind So uh, next we move on, let's add the other, we call that a, a simple count. So we have seen sum to be an additive one, count of rows would also again uh, be an additive. Uh, so if we were to get the complete count of our facts table, com number of rows, we can say count of rows and we don't have to select any columns as such and that's that's it. So let's again rename this, this would be again an additive uh, aggregation right so we are done so last but not the least uh, a most the most confusing one is semi additive now what do we mean uh, by semi additive so uh, semi additive is something which cannot be uh, you know aggregated across all the dimensions there would be one uh, or two of the dimensions which actually uh, have the capability to do the uh, the aggregation and of course uh, your data would be summed uh, or added upon uh, the measure of your dimensions upon that aggregation that you that we are trying to measure uh, so let's just try to pull out what are those so if you can see the first value the last value first not empty value last not empty value and average over time so these are some of uh, the semi additive uh, aggregations what they mean is the value would be average over time as it, as it says the value would be uh, averaged upon uh, a certain duration so there has to be a time dimension involved here and we would not be able to slide and slice and dice across all the dimensions there would be only uh, the time dimension which uh, would help us uh, you know so that is where this semi additive category comes into play and uh, let's uh, what we do in semi additive is uh, we say order quantity uh, average over time what is the average order quantity now the moment we do so we would uh, we would see there is there is a squig squiggle here uh, uh, you know displaying the, the error so this is one of the common errors that you would come across when the moment you add a semi additive uh, aggregation why is that so if we hover our, our mouse we say uh, it says it requires a time dimension uh, so we although we, we have the time dimension here ain't we so what the problem here uh, is if we select the properties of the time dimension we have the type declared as regular so just keep that in mind if we have the time dimension type needs to be of time type the moment you do that you process your dimension and your squiggle will, will disappear so we process this dimension and we go back to our SSAS uh, cube and your squiggle is gone so we have added all the four different additive uh, aggregations here now let's go ahead and process So the processing is done. Now let's go on to the browser, reconnect, and let's try to find. Um, so let's first start by, we can say the maximum. We have the queries here to cross validate the data. So so the maximum value. Uh, okay. So we pull out the order date, and let's try to get the maximum sales amount over year. Uh, we can add order quantity and maybe we can add so just let's just take take the uh, maximum sales amount over here so this is the query so that's your maximum sales amount which is completely in sync 
uh, you know you know your cubes are, are, are you know, giving the right uh, information I remove the order quantity and uh, now let's try to add order quantity fields so this is the average I mean this is a semi additive uh, value okay before we move on to semi additive I I'll just remove this and uh, let's try to get the distinct counts so these are the distinct order uh, uh, orders that were made over here so these are the distinct basic these are basically basically the orders that were that were made each of the year and if we were to get the total count we've already seen that uh, maximum we've, we've seen that and let's try to use order date and again let's see the counts just dis distinct so this was your distinct count uh, once again if I have to cross validate that that's your distinct count which is in sync right and next if we were to count each of them over here a simple count I am removing the total and let's get the count of internet sales that's your count which is again in sync and last but not the least is our semi additive value which uh, would need some explanation to do uh, so let's uh, clear this out and let's add order quantity so as you can see here this is semi additive average value average over time so what do we mean by that if we drill through uh, let's try to take a look it's it's uh, for july it's for let's take one value and try to understand so for 2005 second semester uh, third quarter july month we have this data uh, and the average is 4.7096 so if i if i were to first of all let's get the sum for July the sum stands 146 so 146 and if I comment it out and what I am doing here is uh, dividing it by 31 since we have 31 entries uh, you know 31 days in July and let's see if our average matches to uh, the average displayed in, by the cube here that is 4.7096 so if we run this over that's precisely the value that you're getting so that's your average over time now this average over time since this uh, you know semi additive value would not work with uh, the other dimensions maybe the dimension product so that is something that you need to keep in uh, you know bear in mind uh, I can clear all the results so that uh, brings me to uh, the close of this uh, demo on the aggregations uh, I hope you have understood uh, the additive semi additive pseudo additive and non additive aggregations uh, by the short uh, demo video thank you friends have a great day bye